Hi, welcome to my review of this, the uh, Anker uh, Bluetooth wireless keyboard um, designed for, well, the styling of it would be designed for um, the Apple products, but it will work with any Bluetooth device. So that's the front package. Um, I got this particular keyboard from Amazon um, for 20 quid, which was uh, a very good price actually, I thought, um, made by a company called um, Anker. A-N-K-E-R, there you go, um, and there you can see it's a Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Uh, it's a quick look on the back, um, there's the picture of the keyboard itself and it gives you some of the um, function keys, so back to home um, for the iPad, searching, last song volume down, uh, brightness down, let's try that in focus, uh, brightness down, picture viewing mode, pause play and volume up, uh, brightness up, Virtual keyboard on screen, next song mute and screen lock on there. Um, and then as you can see for the features, um, it's a fashionable and ultra slim design with 78 keys. That's not recording that, is it? Jump cut. Right then, um, I'll explain quickly why this isn't focusing very well. Um, I'm recording this on a Microsoft LifeCam Cinema Camera HD one, um, which I've struggled for ages to get a driver for my Mac, and I downloaded a program called iRecord, a tiny little program. Um, that literally records um, from webcams and it actually works and it works quite well. Let me just that's woo, I love that effect. Um, that's the eye record, but what it doesn't do, unfortunately, it doesn't support the um, autofocus for the webcam. Um, so I'm gonna have to apologize for that one, but anyway, let's go back on with this. Uh, features um, fashionable and ultra slim design with 78 keys, uh, noiseless design. Special keys to activate iPad's keypad function. Um, shortcut keys designed for the Apple iPad 1, 2 and 3. A scissor switch keyboard for comfortable and pleasing typing. 100% compatibility with Apple iPad and iPhone. Uh, you don't need a map to run it. On off switch is powered by two AAA batteries. Uh, up to 10 meters distance um, and those are the dimensions there as well. But it also runs, um, it's got iPad, iPhone 4, 4S, iPod, iPhone 3G, 3S and iPod Touch. Windows 98 ME 2000 XP Vista and 7, um, don't know about 8 but I imagine it does. Android 3.0 or above, Windows Mobile 5 and a Nokia S60 second edition and above. Ooh. Um, but I have to say, let me just open the package. Um, it's a lovely keyboard. It's very much on the style um, of the Apple wireless keyboard. Very similar looks. Um, it's plastic, whereas I think the Apple one might be more metal, um, but it's a really nice simple keyboard to use as well. It's one of the best ones I've had and I've tried a few Bluetooth keyboards um, and this is one of the best ones. So um, up there you've got the connect button. So when you first connect it up, you just press connect and it activates Bluetooth um, and then you pair it with your iPad um, or your iPhone. So, and there's the on off switch and then the battery components go in there. So if I turn this on, you see you get the little blue um, LED light there that tells you that it's on. Uh, very easy to set up. I'll just jump to the other camera here. As you can see, um, it shows up as a KC1280BT keyboard. Um, and then literally you just press uh, connect on the screen, put the iPad down and you'll see actually there that already it's connected. So I will go into pages um, on there and we will just start typing. So, and as you can see the uh, pages is loaded up and if I start typing... Uh, hopefully you should be able to see that on the other camera that it is indeed typing my words. I can't spell three. Um, and it does pick up very well. The, the odd occasion it will miss um, a letter if you leave it for a couple of minutes. But I think that's why it reconnects um, when you go back to it. But if you use your iPad um, while you're out at the office or you're out and about or just to do some typing, it's a lot more comfortable than trying to type on the 
um, main keyboard on the screen, uh, which can be very uncomfortable indeed. Um, and it does do all of the characters, and I've done quite a bit of typing on here, and it's uh, it's an impressive little device, uh, particularly considering it's 20 quid. Um, and I think the official Apple one is a lot more, as is always the case. Um, so, some of the function keys um, along here. This one here sends you back to the home screen, as you can see there. Uh, this one will do automatic brightness on the screen. Um, this F3 key will bring up the search bar if you want to put in there. Um, the F4, um, I think those are photos, but I haven't got that one set up. The F5, if you're in an application, uh, let's just go back to pages. Oh, hey, there we go. Um, let's go back to pages, and if I press the F5 key, it brings up the keyboard on there if you want to use that one. Um, and then the other keys are for your um, particular music to mute and play etc um, and the delete key turns off the keypad turns off the iPad um, and then turns it back on if you press it and obviously to swipe to unlock um, but all in all um, I'm quite impressed with this keyboard it's a, a nice one it's a nice price um, I got it from Amazon UK it was uh, under £20 with free delivery um, so if you do a search for it um, I'm sure you'll find it and they do a lot of other products as well um, and uh, they are particularly uh, impressed with this. The box is nice and it's a good quality one. So there you go, that's my review of the um, Anker wireless keyboard, uh, particularly for the iPad. It works also with the iPhone. Uh, and there you go, thanks for watching, bye bye.